Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jacob, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all boys how I make a raw wave type beats. So, of course, you know, I made this beat because Rod did not drop his album. I don't know why this dude keep postponing his albums, but it is what it is. So, I made this beat just uh, just because I was pressed and in my feels, so I decided to make a raw wave type beat, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's get right into it. Alright, so this is what the FLP looks like. There is a lot of sounds in here, um, but I'll break them all down real quick for y'all. So, first off, I'll play the loop by itself, and then I'll break down the drums. Alright, so that's the loop for y'all, and I'm gonna break it down piece by piece here. So I exported this all out, right? But realistically, I'm gonna show y'all like how exactly I made it. The first thing I did was I got these vocals from Rawway Song's Jupiter Diary. I just screen recorded the uh, music video, and then I split it in the vocal splitter. This is what it sounds like. Right, so that's what that sounds like. And then for the effects on it, put it in channel one. And I put EQ, little Alter Boy, and, uh, Vintage Verb, Vintage Verb, just cut out all the lows and then do the mix right there. And then for the little Alter Boy, I just put up the pitch and the format by four. And then this is what I did for the cut. I cut out a lot of the highs and all the lows because I really just wanted it to be muffled at most. In the actual sample, I pitched it up six. Or I'm at three. So then all together I pitched it up seven. And the next thing I did after that was went into the piano and I had this played out. That's what it sounds like. So that's what piano sounds like and i'll go ahead and open up a new one and show you all how i did it so first thing i had was the bass notes and this is the bass notes of the actual um vocal sample and this is what it sounds like so it's super simple and then actually on the end i just did that so with building these chords here this first chord i don't even know how I, I did it i just messed around and i started well i pitched this up one and then i just put this note in the middle and then that note on the top and then all i did for these was i had it like this originally so it kind of almost strummed so it sounds like like this but i didn't like that as much as i liked this and then all i did was add this little Basically the same thing, but like this. Right? And then with these, the key to these are turning down the velocities a lot. And then with this chord, all it is is a major chord. Right? So this is like that, and I just pitched it up. So it sounds like. And then once again, all I did was chop this and move it up. And then you see another chord and this is like basically a minor chord right here. I just pitched it up one. So it's 
I think it's a major chord, but I'm not sure. But it sounded like that and I liked it. I just copied the same thing and I just added a top note. And then I just copied it over. And then this last part I just removed. And basically just took this, moved it over, and then put this back to how it was. And then for all the little fills, I'll just do it how, I don't really know exactly how I did it on the other one, but I'll just do it right here. So with these, all I did was put on, got the cut tool. And you can do like something like this. I mean, just something like that, and all it is just cutting it up. And then for the preset, I use the Grand Door Ultra Bright and just turn the velocities all the way down. And I hit Alt S, and then to strum it a little bit, and Alt R to randomize it. The next thing I did was I put this little top melody on it. This is what the top melody sounds like by itself. Right, and then that's the same piano as the other one, and all I did was add this reverb, basically. Like, this is what I have on the piano. It's just cutting out all the lows, reverb, and a little bit of chorus. For this piano, this little, these little um, top notes, I literally just followed this. So I went right here, and I went inside the major scales, and went to the E, dragged it in there, and literally copied it over, and boom made sure everything that fit on this line. And then I kind of just, I played it and I clicked it in as I did the, um, as like I heard the loop that I already made, the piano and the vocals, I just clicked it in to try to complement it as much as I can. And like some of these notes right here, like this and this, they hit hard because those are kind of like the downbeats almost. I don't really know how to describe it, but when I hear it, I just imagine those hitting hard and it sounds, it sounds pretty good every time. That's really how I did that. And usually I don't click them in. I usually like to play them a little bit, but this one I had to click it in just because it sounded better. Next thing I did after that was I put a pad in here. This is what the pad sounds like. literally the same exact thing as this piano just taking out all the low notes and all the cuts last thing I did for this was just add a bass and it's what the bass sounds like This bass is the Scarby Rickenbacker Bass Night Session preset. That's the only really good preset in there that I've used. I don't know about the other ones, but I know Night Session is the best one. And then after that, I just added these little um, crashes by Exclusive. So that's what it sounds like. And then it rises back into it. Right, so I got that. And then I added this little drum break. All right, so the drums that I used were the Studio Drummer and then I dragged the MIDI file in there. If you want the MIDI file, um, you can go to my Patreon. Next thing I did was the drums. It's just simple Rodway drums, what they sound like.
right so i'll go ahead and break down these one by one the first thing i did was on this was this little rim what the rim sounds like it's right super basic just rim the same pattern and then after that i added the 808 so this is what the 808 sounds like right so this pattern was really just following you see the same root notes and this took me a hot minute to make but literally i just did this and just started just cutting random spots and i put it on a four step and just started cutting away and then eventually i figured out the best thing that it sounds like and all it is is just little chops but the main thing is leave space for the artist like see all these long notes right here because all that's extra space if it's just like like this Right, that's just not enough space for the artist to work and that's what you really need you need to have space on the drums so that's what the uh, 808 sounds like and so after the 808 i just added the kick with the 808 and it's what the kick sounds like the uh, kick is from um blues kit ao blues kit and then i added just a basic hi-hat and so really what i did was i just made one little pattern right here and i just started copying it over as you see the same break in every time and i just added different rolls in like even the same roll up here the whole way you can see i copied it over so the pattern sounds like right so it's just another basic pattern and the big thing with this is just the velocity changes i mean it's really just a repetitive thing and then after this, I add an open hi-hat to go with the kick and the 808. That's what it sounds like. And I added another open hi-hat to um, like a longer one. That's what it sounds like. Right, so they're really just the same hi-hat, just one's longer. And that's on purpose, so it just sounds like, I don't know, it just sounds different. And then I added a little raw wave triangle perk. And that's it. Um, for the arrangement, I had it, I made it like this. So everything's offset. And I did that so I could have this little start right here. But in the future, don't do like that. Just arrange it regularly, like, like this. So it's, everything's on the grid and then move it off the grid. But I didn't do it like that, so it took a lot longer. And then just for these little breaks, Instead of having a bass, I just added 808 instead. And this is what the end sounds like. And it's really just the whole thing. And on these hooks, on, all, on this hook right here, I added this. This is like the vocals, but I, I made it way lower. Like negative 8.9 dB. All right, so you can barely hear it. And then, but it's just almost a little texture in there. And a couple other things I didn't mention were these right here, the um, the uh, guitar accent. I made this off of just my guitar, and then I added a snare. What the snare sounds like? Just a regular pattern, and then an end piece. Right, it's nothing complicated at all, just a lot of space. And then I added this um, little effect from uh, exclusive Mega Stash Kit. You probably hear a lot of songs. It's there in a lot of songs. But I mean, that's it. It's really just a basic beat and the, the, Mary, uh, the melody kind of carries. Thanks for watching this video. As always, <laughs> uh, go hit up the link in the description. Go to my Instagram, my Patreon, everything like that. All my loops are my Patreon you can go get as well as you can collab with me and get FLPs from all the videos I make. That's a really big thing, get all these FLPs. So if you're ever in here looking like, wow, that looks kind of, like I really wish I could take that <laughs> FLP um, and, you know, go through it and look through it, you can. If you just go to my Patreon, it's like $5 a month and there's other tiers too. But just go in the link in the description, look through that. And um, follow me on Instagram. 
Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment next videos, ideas you have for me. As always, peace.